Subscribe. I only do this for you. And turn on your notifications. Bless Let's... everyone. This is Prophet Elia, and I'm so blessed uh, with the great Prophet EJ to be here to minister to you this evening. Uh, God put it in my heart to just come live and to pray with people. You know, one thing that you have to understand as a child of God, there is nothing in your life that will be more important than your prayer life. You know, this is a mistake that I've seen a lot of believers get carried away with. Usually people hate the fall in love with the hand of God. They fall in love with what they desire for God to bless, but they forget to fall in love with God. For me, what I've come to learn, the most important thing you could ever have is your relationship and your walk with the Lord Jesus. Nothing is greater. Nothing is better. Nothing is more important. Nothing is above your walk with the Lord Jesus. Everything that you desire is in Christ Jesus. You see, Whatever you want from God, whatever you ask God, God provided Jesus. Why did God provide the Lord Jesus? Because it is in Jesus and through the Lord Jesus that you receive every single thing you desire from God. You receive every single thing you desire from God. There is nothing you will ever get from God apart from Christ. Whatever you will ever desire from God, you will get it never apart from the Lord Jesus. There is no promise that God will ever make you that is separate from the Son Jesus. In fact, everything is fulfilled in Christ Jesus. Everything is fulfilled in Christ Jesus. So whoever wants to advance with God, you see sometimes our troubles, even though God promises to Whatsoever we shall ask, and we are going to go into the word of God in a second. But I just feel my spirit to say this God wants to give us everything, it is true in His desire. He came to Solomon in a dream and He told him, And what is it that you want? Anything that you want, I will give to you. Solomon said, I desire the wisdom. Notice Solomon never said, I want knowledge. He said, I want wisdom. Now, whenever God comes to you, He begins by giving you wisdom, then knowledge. Unlike in the world whereby you need knowledge in order to apply wisdom, God doesn't operate like that because God always operates from the end to the beginning, not from the beginning to the end. Are you listening to what I'm saying? So, an example, if you go to school, you graduate from school, the school, when you go and apply for a job, they will ask you how many years experience you have. So, they hire you not only because you went to school, but the level of experience you possess. But God believes in experience that provides knowledge. Because if you go through something, yes. you understand it better, you understand it more. You comprehend it not only with your mind but with your heart. Amen. And it teaches you the importance of depending on God. Listen to that. It teaches you the importance of depending of, on God. It teaches you the absolute importance of depending of depending on God. If you have never, you see, Adam and Eve would have never known God is love until they failed. It was experience that taught them that God is love. If God came to the garden and told them I love you, they don't know what love is. Why don't they understand what love is? Because love can only be displayed when you don't deserve, when you are unworthy of something. Remember the only reaction and the only action of God that, the, that Adam and Eve knew was that if you fail God, you are cast out. That's the only lesson, the only reference they knew was from Satan. So they could never confess God is love until they fell. So it is experience that revealed the love of God. The Lord Jesus said this about blind uh, Bartimaeus. The disciples asked him, who sinned? Was it his father 
was it uh, his mother was it his forefathers was it him jesus said neither he was born like this so that the glory of god can be displayed through him so experience is what teaches you god believes in experience teaching you anyone can tell you anything about something but unless they have gone through what you have gone through and you have seen the hand of god you see uh youtube are you there now you see something uh, listen to me clearly there's there's a lesson here that i want you to capture you know one time i asked the lord the more i in my beginning of of the work when god permitted me to go into work to work for him completely i was born with the gift of prophecy i grew up hearing god by the grace of god never worked for it by god's grace but when i started serving god i thought that the more people see the power of god the more they will believe but i came to realize there's a lot of people that will make the most skeptics them but the people who are benefactors of what god has given but those who are benefactors of what god has given they are the ones who hold on to god remember a few a few uh when did i tell you guys about the canada show and many months ago I mean, was it in january january it was much it was much right it was it was three weeks before the shooting of canada when, when i sp- spoke to you about it look god can speak to you and tell you something you see i can depend on the gift if i am a fool if the prophet was a fool my gift should make me feel and i know a lot of prophets that their gift has become what they measure their relationship with god is it's very dangerous your blessing is not what you measure your walk with god to be god can speak to you see we don't earn god's voice God speaks to us by sovereign grace because he feels he wants to not because you compel nobody is born praying to become a prophet God does that Are you getting what I'm saying God can speak to anybody God spoke to the uh, to the Pharaoh in the time of Joseph God can speak to anybody you know God doesn't speak to you because you are the best Christian it's his sovereign mercy and grace because nobody can earn anything from God It's by sovereign grace that he gives what he wants to give. Are you getting what I'm saying? But you have to always understand. Even today we are going to pray. And I believe God is going to heal people. I believe God is going to deliver people. I believe God is going to give people salvation. People are free from demonic oppression and powers. But I want you to understand something. Christ must always be first. Amen. Jesus is the ice on the king. If Jesus is not there, whatever you receive from God can never be permanent. Because the God who gave you is the one that will give you. The God who came to you, the God who started something is the one who make sure that it lasts until his coming. Yes. But if you get from God and you forget your God, then you have cheated yourself. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Yes. You have cheated yourself. See, God doesn't want us to be like our forefathers. God doesn't want us to be like the children of Israel. They've seen the Red Sea being uh, 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 parted. But still, they rebelled against God. Yes. They saw people being healed. Yes. In the desert, when snakes were biting people, God rescues people. They still did the same thing. Uh, are you listening to what I'm saying? Yes. I, I, unless you take hold of the Lord Jesus unless you take hold of the Lord Jesus when did I tell you guys the shadow was going to happen? did I not tell you it was going to happen? before anybody was even talking about lockdowns or anything months ago when did I tell you they will start popping? I told you by June the life will start going on. All these things I don't say because it feels good. Yeah. I'm talking to you the mind of God. Are, are you listening to what I'm saying? And the same God who I've, I've spoken to many of you, you know the hand of God upon my life and you know what God has brought to me. 
I'm here to tell you, God is going to bless you. God is going to transform something yes, in your life. The Lord Jesus is going to touch you. But whatsoever you receive from the Lord, don't lift it above the Lord Jesus himself. Uh, amen. Amen. Don't ever do that mistake. Don't ever make that mistake. Amen. Don't lose your place like Satan, who God honored, but the honor took him over. Are you listening? Don't be those people that will miss out, that will miss the living Jesus. And you get things that are just going to keep you for a little bit. Hold on to him. Are you listening to him? Hold on to him. I want us to go to Luke chapter 18. Luke chapter 18. And I'm going to explain to you what ekakio means in Greek. Hallelujah. Are you there? Luke chapter 18 verse 1. 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 Luke 18 1. Are you there? Listen to what it says. It says, And he spake a parable, and the one who is speaking is the Lord Jesus. And he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought to always pray and not to faint and he spoke a parable unto them to this end that men ought always to pray and not ikakio the word faith there is ikakio and ikakio means to be spiritual to be spiritless meaning you are so spent that you are spiritless meaning don't be like one that is dead yes Men ought to pray always and not to ekakio, to be spiritless. Yes. And to be what? Spiritless. When somebody has the spiritless, is spiritless, they have prayed. They have prayed according to their standard. They have prayed. And nothing has worked out. Their first thing is like, I've prayed, I have tried this, I've tried this, nothing is working yes, out. Yes. And now they get to a place where they begin to say that whatsoever is going to happen, let it happen. Yes. What is mine is mine. And 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 whatever is yours is yours. Nobody can take it from me. But that's not true. That's not even biblical. And remember, we are not talking about the spirit of God here. We are talking about man's spirit. Yes. We are talking about man's spirit. We are talking about the spirit of man. You see, when the spirit of a man is broken, man is broken. If your heart is broken, if your soul is broken, you will have problems that you still be able to stand. The will to live will not live. But the moment a man's spirit is broken, the will to live, the will to do things is no longer, the ambition is gone. Because the purpose of man is not in his soul. The purpose of man comes from his spirit. This is why you find that the Lord Jesus, when he's on the mountain before he goes to be crucified, when he went to pray with his disciples, when he took them to the garden to pray, and he went ahead of them, he came back and asked them, pray. You can't even watch with me for an hour. Pray that you don't fall into temptation. Indeed, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is what? Weak. They were there because their spirit their spirit was willing. Some of you are watching because your spirit is still willing. You still believe God can do it. But the faith to see God do it is not there. Because faith is not a thing of your spirit. Faith is your is a is something that is manifested in the soul. Teachers, teachers. Faith does not come from your spirit. Faith comes from the soul. This is why the Bible says it like this. It says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God what needs to hear the word of God is not your spirit it is your soul because it is your soul that needs to be renewed it is your soul that needs to be rewired it is your soul that needs to be taught to think the way the spirit man is thinking you see when you're born again it is your spirit man that is new, not your soul the Bible says, renew your mind by the reading of the word. Yes. The mind is the most active part of the soul. And I've taught you this yes. intensely about the soul. 
So I'm going through it because I want us to go into a place of prayer. Yes, sir. So it is your soul that needs to be reprogrammed. Your soul needs to be reprogrammed. This is why somebody can hear a word from God and be energized and go after something. God can tell you, be bold. Don't be afraid. I am with you. Your soul gets strength based on the information. Not because you saw anything. Yes. But the information is enough to energize your spirit, Amen. man. To trust God and to say, God, I'm going to go after this. Yes. Because you said you are with me. Today. That is why the psalmist says, even if I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, as I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Amen. So the knowledge of God being with you is enough to take you through troubles. Mm -hmm. That's good. Now you imagine if God is with you, but you don't know that God is with you. What are you going to do? You will panic. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lord Jesus. 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 Are, are you, that is the most important thing. You hear the word of God to reprogram your soul. Because the moment your soul lines up to your spirit, which is lined up to the Holy Spirit, yeah. Deliverance is easy. Amen. Breakthrough is easy. Amen. Open Amen. doors are easy. Hearing the voice of God is easy. Whatsoever you desire from God becomes easy because you can touch God. Amen. You see, never desire a form of godliness by denying the power thereof. This is in Timothy. So many people want a form of godliness. But Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, chapter 2 verse 1, he speaks about coming to you in meekness and in all this and he says that to build your faith on the power of God. What does it mean? To build your faith on the abilities of God. You see, your faith cannot grow based on your ability. Amen. The purpose of the cross was not just to give you eternal life, but was to open the door for you to receive every single thing that God destined for you. Amen. Now look at verse 2. Saying there was in a city a judge which feared not God, neither regarded man so there was a king jesus now is telling them a parable saying there was a king that did not fear god and did not have any regard for man meaning he didn't care about people and there was a widow in that city and she came unto him saying avenge me of my adversaries verse 4 and he would not for a while but afterward he said within himself though i fear not god no regard man yet because this widow troubleth me i will avenge her least by her continual coming she will wear me she will make me a kakio <laughs> yeah. then the lord jesus says in verse 6 listen to this and the lord said hear what an unjust judge said and shall not God avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them? I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth. See, the problem is this widow kept going to the king because he knew he has the ability and the power to carry out yes. what she desires. Yes. She was a widow because this man made her to be a widow. Yes. So she went to the king who did not regard her, does not even regard men, and kept going, listen, listen, avenge me. Are you going to let them do that? Every day she's there, same time, same intensity. You see, your intensity determines your faith. I wish somebody could hear me. Yes, amen. Your intensity reveals your faith. Yes, amen. Your intensity, it, it, it displays your faith. If your intensity is low, your faith is low. Amen. If your intensity is strong, your faith is strong. Yes, amen. You act... Are you listening to me? Yes. You act. Kabada ya ikadosha ankra kidaya lebron de kista akopaya kidia anto 
Revedia antuliaba kasataya. You act according to what is in your soul. You see, the Lord Jesus' intensity was the same from day one. Even unto the cross, he was exactly what he was telling the people to be. Some of you, one day you pray strong, the next day you don't pray strong. Things are great, you stop praying. When things are hard, you pray. Your faith is wavering as far as God is concerned. Because if your intensity, your tenacity, your energy is fluctuating, it means that you're like, like, a, a, like a flag that is tossed to and fro by the wind. So the Lord Jesus is saying, God will answer you speedily. The problem is will you find faith? I wish somebody could hear me. The problem is, will he find what? Faith. Faith. I feel the prophetic grace coming upon you. Amen. Hallelujah. I want us to go to John chapter 14, verse 13 to 14. And then we'll start praying. Kadaba sotiyama kasakataya. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lord. It's the Lord. May have some I feel it. Are you there, son? Are you there? John 14. Uh, John 14 from verse 13 to 14. 13 to 14. Yes. Uh-huh. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name. Whatsoever ye shall ask. Notice what the Bible is saying. <laughs> I love the word of God because it's clear. Whatsoever. Whatsoever is a blank check. Amen. I wish somebody could hear me. Amen. Absolutely. Amen. Whatsoever is a blank check. The Lord Jesus is not setting a criteria for you to ask. Yeah. He's saying whatsoever. 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 Whatsoever, yes. whatsoever, yes. see the time, this is prophetic time, right when it's about to be my time to pray, this is extra prophetic, whatsoever, whatsoever is a blank check, yes. Facebook are you there, whatsoever is a blank check, Whatsoever is a blank check. Whatsoever is a blank check. Whatsoever is a blank check. Somebody just type, whatsoever is a blank check. I want you to type that, whatsoever is a blank check. Whatsoever is a blank check. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What do you want? So when he says whatsoever, he's left it open. So you can put what you want there. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you getting what I'm saying? Amen. When you open it and you go to 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 uh, uh, to John, is it John? Yes. Yes. Huh? John 14, 13 to 14. Yes. In verse 13, if you have a physical Bible, just write on top what you want. Instead of instead of whatsoever, put what you want in that place. So when you read it, you are saying what Jesus is saying now. Yes. Amen. That's good. Amen. This that you are asking for, I shall do it so that the Father may be glorified. Yes. Yes. Amen. So God is looking for something to glorify. Amen. The problem is you don't ask things that show that God is alive. If you ask things that are in your grasp to do, then people will not see God. Yes, amen. Ask for things that will break ground. Amen. Ask for things that can break you and amen. they will break the ground for you. Amen. <sighs> yes, amen. Uh, any devil to distract you from what God is about to give you. 
I want you to pray now. We are going to go into prayer. You are going to say, Lord, energize my spirit. Remove a kakio from my spirit. Let me drink from your well again. Let me drink from your river again. Revive my spirit. Open your mouth and pray. Ragidiga. Oma kataya. Eka baba 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 ya. Eya. Kabada ba soka ya bada. Eya baba 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 isa kataya ba. Eka daba 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 ya. Eya bati ya maka soka para. Reba da 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 ya maka taya. Eka daba suti ya maka taya ba sota. Reki di anso 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 raba kadosh. Erimi ya kadoba ya. Yes. Liba da ba da ba da ba ya ba 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 ba. Raba da ba da ba da ba ya. Seki di amaka suka ya ba ya. Repa kudi ya makadosh. Remo uka digada ya santele baya. E kadabasoka. Rima koste inkarabasaya. Rako pakadia antona baya. Le kadosh. Ligro akudi ya masataya. Lako baya kadika tayaba. Repa daba 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 ya. Reke debe 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 ya. Reka talaba suki dia. Ligadosha inkaraba sata. Lepada bea kidia. Rema suti ya ako. Mekadei, mekadei, mekadei. Repa papa papa paya akasudia. Ligadopaya katika daba ya. Radaba daba sota legida. Merekidi ya ako parigi ya anta. Zepara kida atula baya katabaya. Re papa papa sigi ni anko. Hey ya baba papa suki ni amakatai. Hey ya bakata la basuta la baya. Hey ya mama makasaya. Lebe kudi ya anso karigi di anta. Lepara, lepara, lepara. Say Lord Jesus. Revive my spirit again. Lord Jesus. Revive my spirit again. Holy Spirit. Touch my spirit again. Oh Father, touch my spirit again. Rakata kata begin to pray. Rakata kata kaya. Rakata kata ya. 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 E para 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 da ya. Zeka da ba da ba ya. Reba 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 da ba da ba ya. Raba ba 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 ba ya. E ya ba 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 ya. E ya ba 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 ya. E ya ba 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 ya. Zaka 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 zaya. Zaka 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 zaya. Zaka zaka zaya zaya. Zaka zaka zaya zaya. Zaka zaka zaya zaya. Zaka zaka zaya zaya. Zaka zaka zaya. Ay 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 ay. Hey, ya bada bada baya. Zaku dia baka zaka zaka zaya. Reka to shala baya. Zaka zaka zaya. Touch our spirits again, Lord. In Jesus' name. Say Lord, 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 today, heal my soul, heal my soul, heal my soul, heal my soul, heal my mind, heal my emotions, heal my will, restore me, O Lord, from every disappointment. From every disappointment of life, from every disappointment of family, from every disappointment of career, from every disappointment of health, from every disappointment of men, oh Lord, heal my soul. Rakata kata kata ya ba 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 ya. Rekata kata pray pray pray. Zekata la ba da ba da ba da ba ya. Zekata ba da ba da ba da ba da ba ya. Repa kata 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 ya. Eh ya ba da ba da ba da ba ya. 
Zakuda, 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 Bea. Reta, ta, 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 yabaka. Leka dia de de da da ba da ba da ba da ba da ba ya. Hey ya ba da ba si kiri ya makata ya. Rapau ya kiri ya masota. Raka ta ka ta ka ta ka ya ba 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 ya. Hey ya ba 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 sata ya. Hey ya ba 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 kati ya masakata ya. Leka tu da ba ya kata la ba ya kata ba da ba da. Hey ya ba katusha. Ela baba 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 reka idadi kada basote aba katia ei abaka ei ababa baka suti abakata ei abakusi abakata in Jesus mighty name say Lord say Lord in the name of Jesus, I pull down every altar. I pull down every spirit. I pull down every spirit. I pull down every enchantment. Set up against my life. Set up against my family. Set up against my people. Set up against my life. Set up against my life. Set up against my ministry. Set up against my ministry. Set up against my children. Set up against my children. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every demonic power. Every demonic power. Be thou broken. In the name of Jesus. Begin to break it. Begin to break it.
upon my head and the head of the prophet. Thank you for your call that is upon our lips. That we shall speak your oracles, O oh Lord. Thank you for your angels that are here that will speak to us what is in your heart for your people. Rekadus in Praga do Makatia. Let your people already beginning to experience thy glory. I want everybody to call. What, what is the prayer line? The prayer line quickly. The prayer line. The prayer. Yes. Hey. Remember that God speaks when God is speaking to one person. Yes. Yes. Subscribe. I only do this for you and turn on your notifications. Let's go.